All right, cronies. What's going on, everybody? How's everyone doing? Hope everyone's good. Here I am, man. This is my review of the Latoul Parfait taping kits. These guys are a company based out of uh, France and uh, reached out to me and asked me if they if it was okay if they sent me their tools. And I'm like, heck yeah, you can. Uh, I don't do a lot of taping, but I'll definitely give them a go. Well, guys, guess what? Ever since having these kits, I've been taping full time and uh, doing really well at it, actually. Uh, it's amazing being able to take the framing, uh, insulation, drywall, and now the taping. Nice, man. Very, very nice. So uh, we're on site for longer. We're responsible for more of the uh, the wall. And it's nice because we really uh, have pride in our work. So <laughs> by the time it gets to the taping, it's uh, really easy for us. So it's awesome, guys. Anyways, on to the kits. So like I said before, this is a company based out of France. Uh, I've done... Uh, I don't know. This is probably my third or fourth video on them. On them now, uh, if you guys want to see them when they're brand new, I did a release video, a, like a sneak peek. I'll link it up in the cards, okay? Um, and uh, I'll also link the other videos I've done on them as well in the cards. And if you want to know what the cards are, it's that little eye with the circle around it up above there. You can check it out uh, whenever that pops up. <laughs> Anyway, so check this out, dudes. I'm standing on the ground. Uh, literally, those are 12-foot sheets, and then there's 10s on top, and then we got an 8-foot top on top of that. So this is a 30-foot wall, okay? And um, I'm using these kits to do the entire thing. No boxes, all rollers, rollers. Um, the, 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 these kits you are, man, wild, dude. So the, the no, no hawk, no, no pan, okay, no boxes. All right, I'm just using rollers to apply all the tape and do all the coating, and it's so easy. Um, it spreads out so evenly and so quickly. It really cut down the time and the and the work, right? Um, like, check this out. So I I've pre-cut the lengths of tape, and it literally, it just once I roll on the mud, I I put the taping blade on the pole, okay, and it also comes off the pole. You can use it in your by hand as well. But here, um, I, I you just dab it in the in the mud and stick it to the to the uh this taping knife and you can reach and it's amazing absolutely amazing guys um i i really uh have, have been having a lot of fun using these kits and now that we're like seven jobs in taping um i'm getting really good at the taping part of things and um yeah so far all the customers have been happy uh we had to go back of course the first two couple jobs and do touch-ups and things like that but since then yeah, man we've been doing a-okay um no 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 going back uh this is an interesting so after i apply the the tape with the uh, taping knife there's this other other one it's like a foot i think um it and i use it to fill in the entire joint and it makes it so smooth and um and you you because you've rolled it on you know there's mud behind the uh the tape but it, it, say you miss a spot or something um you can always you'll always be able to tell it um and just patch it up like put some underneath it or whatnot and you're good to go but that that's that that second knife that i'm what i'm doing there is that i'm just coating over top of it and it's it just turns out so beautiful and flat you wait till the end of the video I'm actually showing you a side by side of um, like hand tape versus using the uh, the tools provided in the kit, right? Uh, or like traditional hand tools, and you'll see the difference between how like smooth it comes out, right? So, and each coat comes out really smooth, guys. So I've been able to just apply nice light coats. It's a it's a taping and two coat system. All right, and boom, sand it, sand it out, and touch ups, and you're good to go. Um, and and there's less sanding because it just you 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 apply it in stages, and it's so it's just so even. It comes out so even. It's beautiful, uh, like even and smooth. <sighs> Look, it literally looks like you use boxes, okay? And this is the interesting thing too, right? Because with the boxes, the boxes are big and heavy and bulky, and you got to continuously fill them up. Uh, literally, literally, I just had a, how you just keep a pail of uh, mud beside you and you just kick it along and, uh, yeah, just dab the roller right in there and it, and it's, it's so much lighter. Um, it's, it's really cool, dude, Sam. You're going to see me up on a lift here right away, uh, in the next segment, in the next segment here coming up, you'll see me up on the lift doing the 10 footer and all the way up to the top. Um, 
it's 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 really been helpful in things like stairwells and, and whatnot where I have to reach over and reach and get into sketchy areas and things like that. Th these kits have really saved my butt um, from doing some sketchy stuff, which is really, really cool. Okay, because I you can reach things that you're typically, you know, you need to get up on a bench and or get some kind of scaveling or lift plus bench this thing going or somewhere there's always those weird spots you guys know what i'm talking about um but yeah so check it out i don't know if I, if you nah darn it i didn't I, you have to wait to the end to see the actual um um close-up of the the joints but yeah here we are so on the lift right there i got the sections cut pre-cut already for the middle and the top and uh there we go just uh, uh one guy's rolling see the one guy rolling ahead and uh, I'm I'm putting the tape on behind. So it's a, two guys are are just are going. And look, we're in the lift and we're we're taping. We just taped. I think it was like uh, five joints or three, four or five joints. So wait, one, two, three, maybe four. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> so yeah, you can get like three, four joints and then move over. And you tape all the way up, but while you're in one area, you go all the way up the wall, and it it's works out really well, right? So we went, we were able to get the the mud uh, in the joint, the tape on, all from one spot, guys, from the lift. It was crazy cool. Um, you'll, you'll just watch, just watch. It's really neat. <laughs> and then the same thing up here, right? Uh, I, I'm good. I'm getting the rolling started while Lamb's doing the uh, butt joint, right? And um, you see how fast we taped that section? Like, dudes, boom, 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 boom. It's already rolled on. He's put, He just uh, rolled out the butt joint tape, and now there I am putting the, the top uh, uh, bevel uh, tapes on, right? So quick, so um, really neat, guys. So I, I'm going to leave a couple of links down in the video description, okay? One is to their website, and uh, one is to a, a supplier that may be able to ship them to America. I don't know. I'm really hoping these will become available soon. I'm not an affiliate at, at all with these guys um, uh, at the moment, right now, as of, uh, um, what are we in, uh, <laughs> February 2022? Um, and so, but yeah, I'd like to see these tools coming to America, right? Um, really neat system. Um, the rollers are really good quality. The, they're special rollers for mud and, uh, they're not like paint rollers or anything like that, right? They're actual rollers for the mud, uh, like the drywall compound, right? And, uh, yeah, we just, we just kind of like, um, uh, have like a little bit of a, a softer mix, you know, and, uh, it just, yeah, it rolls on so light and smooth. Uh, the end product is beautiful, you know, and then, yeah, here I am by myself. This is one of those sketchy areas. Okay. Where I'm over, a um, like, uh, like a trench basically for like, I want to, you know, uh, how they cut concrete inside the buildings, put plumbing in and stuff like that. So here I am, I have them driving forward in and, um, I, um, it's really difficult to get up into this top corner. And, uh, because I have the, the rollers and the, and the poles, the knives can go on the poles. Um, that uh, it, it's easy for me to access, right? And you can do multiple joints, right? Like, see how I'm rolling the rolling two, and then putting and putting two on. So that's the kind of the idea. It was kind of, it's nice when you have two people and then one guy's rolling ahead and the guy other guy behind putting the tapes on. Um, yeah, it's really 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 cool, man. It'd be even faster if we had a third guy doing the doing the final uh, fill, like the final fill, you know, with the six inch. Oh yeah, that twelve inch. Uh, you'll probably see a little bit closer here what I do with that. So you can see after you put the tape on, there's still a bunch of bumps and, uh, um, uh, like unevenness and the, in the complete joint isn't full. Well, when you just take your like a four inch or six inch knife and wipe that off, it doesn't, it doesn't fill the, the, the joints evenly, you know, like it's, uh, it's uneven and bumpy. So what I do with this hand tool right here, see that one? Boom. And that, that knife is amazing. So it actually acts like a hawk. I use it as a hawk, to, you know, almost too. But yeah, I'm going to go up and I'm just going to swipe down. Okay. You see that big thing there? It's like 12 inches. I haven't exactly measured it, but it's a bigger knife. And it's, it's for the taping. And what I'm doing is I'm getting the joint full and uh, making sure the, the, the tape was coated properly, right? And that there's a proper amount behind and in front and, in, and to the sides, right? So the bevel is completely smooth and, and beautiful, right, for the first coat. Um, and then, yeah, you, like uh, after that, the tape's on. You seriously, you, just, you, you get bigger rollers, okay? There's a, there's, um, so there's a, a roller for the two-inch tape. There's a corner roller for doing corner, um, corners, inside corners. So I'm, and I have another video for that actually, um, coming out, uh, probably pretty soon. You guys will see that the, the inside corner, uh, tools. 
But uh, for now, like uh, the you guys, the last video I did was mainly more on the coating and the sanding, like the final product. But this is uh, this is one here is on the, the taping. I thought it was interesting because the thirty foot wall on a lift, right? And um, yeah, just kind of giving you like the, the, these kits are really neat. Um, I've I've done a lot of t of mudding uh, taping with them. Um, the, a couple of things broke, unfortunately, and I'd love to get them replaced. And that's the thing, like I need to get in touch with these guys and, and see if they, if they are like, you know, somebody will ship to uh, America, you know, or maybe the, the company themselves will send some more kits. I don't know, <laughs> but, um, I'm, while I'm on site, people are coming up to me and asking me about like, where do they get them and things like that. And uh, like other tapers are, are always curious and, and, uh, coming up and talking to me about it. So using them on site, it's like probably one of the best advertising for them that you could, uh, uh, you could do because they see how much faster it is, right? To roll it on, it's really fast, dude. It's like I just can't tell you how like it. It's faster than boxes. It's faster than, um, um, like that by hand than hand by hand. Uh, by far, it's really interesting because it's so light, right? It's really really light, and um, uh, you can in small, right? You can get it in anywhere, and and they reach. Like I, like I was saying, I, like you see me doing 12 foot sheets from the ground, right? The reach is incredible with these things. So, um, but yeah, I think they're, they're, they're made more for probably residential taping, I would say, uh, because, um, like the amount of, amount of use I've been using them like these, these knives on the, on the poles. Okay. I think that's what, um, that's why I, that this, this taping knife there is one of the things that broke. And I, I think it's probably from using it always on the poles because I'm always reaching and doing high walls and stuff right so i don't think they're uh, exactly meant for that uh, i've seen other like other releases of the tools like uh De decolis and parfait lists or whatever like and um they look like they might be like a little better quality maybe i don't know if the uh, the tools they sent me because they had no label on them there was like their entry line you know entry level line so they might have a, a higher end line is what i'm saying and that would be so rad to uh to to try out um, but and then there's uh there there is an, a supplier too. I I linked down below and I've been looking at them and they look exactly the same, minus the um, minus the like the the labeling on the actual tool itself. So, but yeah, look at that thing. So that that knife it goes into a special holder, and um, the the bigger the bigger. Um, the bigger blade too, it goes in there as well, right? So you can change it out and put put either or on the pole. Um, it's pretty handy, man. It's like you know, it's nice being able to um, to reach so far, honestly, right? Like, um, it's crazy, dude. So I don't know if you guys are tapers or let me know how much how long you've been taping for and what kind of jobs you guys tape. Um, I just started taping and I'm, I'm loving it. And, um, it's, it's, it's much funner now because like before it used to, it used to cause me like a lot of hurt in the hands and stuff like that. But now because of the rollers, it's, it's actually, it's quite, it's quite nice to, to do actually. Um, it's just, you know, sometimes when you're drywalling, you got to go to areas you don't want to go. And then after you drywall that you, well, first, so this is the thing, right? So you got to frame it. And then you got to get to these places and drywall them. And then you got to go back to tape them. Some of them are you just like, oh, man, they're really like, you know, tops of stairwells and stuff like that, right? <laughs> but um, no, that's okay. It's, it's going well. Um, I, I've been like taping alongside other tapers, like real pros. And um, they've been like, wow, yeah, it looks great. You got, you're doing a good job. And um, so it's really cool, guys. Um, I like that uh, I've added, been able to add the taping to my uh, skill set. Um, I got some more footage of doing inside corners. Um, nothing really special for outside corners. Um, I, I basically, yeah, you see there, my there it is. Just all the, okay, so here it goes. See, that's hand tape normal. You see how messy that is? Okay. And then that's that's with the kits. Okay, the, let's see how smooth it is. Okay, hand taped. I can tell just by looking at it, but yeah, you can tell the difference. The smooth ones um, are are um, the kits, and the rough ones are by hand. Anyways, guys, keep watching the next video right here. I'll see you on the next one. Love you all, cronies. Bye for now. This is Chris. Bye for now, eh?